Well, we're finally getting some results about the Amazon union vote outcome, and it's not over yet, but it's not looking too good so far. So as you can see here, we have 463 yeses to 1,100 noes. Yeah, this is very, very disappointing um, so far. As you can see, they need at least 1,608 yes votes in order for the union to win. The New York Times explains the first ballots counted in a closely watched bid to unionize an Amazon warehouse in Alabama were heavily against the effort, according to an unofficial tally of the results by the New York Times. More than two thirds of the first 600 votes to be counted were against unionization. The ballots are being counted in a random order in the National Labor Relations Board's office in Birmingham. The union seeking to represent workers said late Wednesday that 3,215 ballots had been cast, or about 55% of the roughly 5,800 workers who were eligible to vote. Hundreds of ballots are being contested, mostly by Amazon, according to the retail wholesale and department store union. So it's not looking good so far. And of course, Amazon is contesting the ballots, uh, but they've done more in terms of trying to sabotage the effort aside from their public union busting efforts. So as More Perfect Union reports, More Perfect Union has obtained emails showing that Amazon privately pressured USPS to install an illegal ballot drop box during the union election in Bessemer, Alabama. The emails directly contradict public statements by USPS about the box's origins. The emails were obtained through a FOIA request by RWDSU. Many of the exchanges have been almost entirely redacted and any mentions of Amazon officials has been removed. But here are some key findings that we have been able to glean from the FOIA request. First, we learn that beginning January 8th, one month before the union vote begins, Amazon repeatedly called USPS's strategic account manager to say they want to install their own box. USPS team deliberates Amazon's request and says a private box may not be utilized. USPS then decides to install one for them. Amazon HQ would like to be kept in the loop. A USPS official informs the entire national and local team. We don't know for sure, but in a series of redacted emails, it appears that for over the next week, Amazon and USPS haggle over the acquisition of a box, what kind of box can be installed, and how quickly it can be done. On February 3rd, a USPS official sends an email stating that it is dedicating time and effort to physically altering a collection box that would meet Amazon's needs. USPS says it is hollowing out a box that would allow for bulk mail ballot collection. Amazon demands USPS install the box by February 7th, one day before the union vote was to begin. USPS says it is working with Amazon to place that box in a convenient location on the Bessemer campus. As we documented with Grim Kim, Amazon had the ballot drop box installed in violation of explicit guidance from the federal government. The box is installed the evening of February 9th, late at night, under cover of darkness. The mailbox was critical for Amazon's strategy because it wanted to pressure employees to bring ballots to work that they'd receive at home in the mail. By doing this, they could then pressure and monitor employees to submit no votes. So let's just say that if this vote were taking place in a foreign country, Latin America, the United States government would invade them for not being democratic enough. The entire process itself has been completely flawed. There's been zero transparency. There's been fuckery and shenanigans from Amazon. And um, if they win, it's because, you know, there's this power imbalance and that's deeply frustrating. <sighs> Again, this is kind of a developing story. I I'm, I'm reading you the details that just were released but if this union were to succeed, it would be a game changer. It could catalyze some sort of domino effect where other Amazon warehouses across the country unionize and other companies perhaps uh, unionize. But this is why Amazon fought it tooth and nail. They know that this could open the floodgates and they don't want that to happen. So it's, you know, a little bit disheartening. We don't have all the votes yet. They're being counted randomly. But just off this preliminary results, Amazon is uh, looking poised to win. And that's because they have done so much to manipulate this effort. Really disheartening. You know, there was a chance that labor could have at least a victory here when it comes to Amazon. But doesn't appear that that's the case. I hope that the situation changes. But right now, not looking too good for the Amazon union effort in Bessemer, Alabama.